I get a new CEO. He calls all of his direct reports together. We have 17 of them in a row. And he literally, <laughs> literally pulls a Remember the Titans on us. Anybody seen Remember the Titans? Yeah. When, the, when the coach looks at him and says, how much do you know about me? How much do I know about you? And he looks at me and goes, what do you know about Treasury? And I go, I know he likes scotch. <laughs> that's it. That's all I know. And he likes good scotch. He doesn't like the cheap stuff. He goes, yeah, that's the problem. You're on procurement. He's in Treasury. You don't know each other. you got to go around to everybody in the room, meet each other, come back to me, and tell me what you know about the others. A true Remember the Titans moment. Mm -hmm. So I go through all 17. The department I leave for last? <coughs> Tax. For obvious purposes, I break out in hives when I say the word. <laughs> right? I don't know about the rest of you, but I do. So I leave tax for last. I go down the hall. I meet the gentleman who's the head of tax. He's got 50 people in his employment. We're pushing $4.7 billion in revenue through North America. And I go, tell me about your organization. He goes, I have 50 people. I got 40 pe 48 people in charge of income tax for North America. I go, wow, it seems like a lot. He goes, well, if we get it wrong, we all go to jail and we get orange suit. I go, it doesn't seem like enough. <laughs> okay, I go, what's up with the two? He goes, I got these two people down the hall, these two wonderful women down the hall. You have to go all the way down, bang a left. They're in a room. They do something called indirect tax. It's like Ouija and I of new. I'm not really sure what they do, but it's down there. And, you know, I don't see them very much. I'm like, great, let me meet the income people. I go down the hall to the income tax lady. I meet the, the head of indirect tax. And she goes, are you Mike Kaju from procurement? The guy who's in charge of all of our buying, and I go, yeah, and she literally does this. Uh, so you have to, okay, this is, I'll, I'll do this. She does this. I just have a couple questions. <laughs> right? And she peels the first piece of paper off the stack. And it's the $37 million a year Microsoft contract. I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be a long day. Right? She says to me, so, Question for you. She says, what do you know about sales and use tax? I said, I know that if I go to New Hampshire, I don't have to pay for my television set. <laughs> right? She goes, yeah, that, exactly. That's tax evasion, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. She goes, sales and use tax is what you, say, what, you pay, what you collect for sales when you sell something. Use tax is what you pay, which is also called sales tax that you pay to your vendors when you buy something. OK? She goes. I'm going to give you a quick, a quick lesson. Emphasis on the use. And I went, what does that mean? She goes, sales and use tax. I went, great. She goes, so Microsoft, back to Microsoft for a minute, and we'll get the rest of this stuff in a minute. Um, so Microsoft, $37 million you paid for this contract. I said, yeah. She goes, I heard it's the Mona Lisa, all the stuff cheap. You did a great job. It took, what, nine months? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, I, I literally have the scouts to prove it. I had to negotiate with the Microsoft team out of Paris. Sidebar, we can talk about that. I'll say over a cocktail. Not fun. Anyway, point is, $37 million contract. Was, the ship to address says New York. My procurement department was in New York. My finance department's in New York. So OK, she goes, do you happen to know what the sales tax rate is in the state of New York? Nope. $2.5 billion, I don't know that answer. Dumb. 8.875%, just so you all know, in a home game, right? New Jersey's different, I understand that. Um, so she goes, this is great. Uh, how many people do we have that actually work in New York State? And I said, not that many-ish. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm now thinking, well, I signed a contract for 120,000 licenses of Microsoft because that's how many people says, I think we have 10,000 employees, 10 to 12,000 people in Manhattan. I said, I'm going to say 10%. She goes, yeah, all right, that's a good number. We'll use that. She goes, you realize that on $37 million, that at 8%, you paid yeah, about $3.2, $2.3, $3 million in sales tax. I said, right. She goes, you realize that you really only owe $375,000 to the state of New York. And I went, can you hold that thought? <laughs> Oops, sorry. I don't know why my ears. Hence, the day I thought I was going to get fired. I paid $3.4 million, too many dollars in tax, on one of the best contracts I thought, personally, I had ever negotiated with my team. 
I never even thought about negotiating tax. As a procurement guy, I've been doing it for 20 years. My CIO has been a CIO for 25 years. The tax lady I was supposed to talk to down the hall, I'd never met before. I didn't even know what the guy liked to drink that managed her, that managed him. <laughs> right? So, she goes, okay. So I went down and I saw my boss. <coughs> And I said, I said, hi. I said, uh, I just learned about the tax department. That's the good news. The bad news is you're probably going to fire me. I said, but the good news is there's a lady down the hall that's spitting on Wonka tickets. And she's got a whole stack of them. <laughs> right? So, um, she, so I went back and I said, okay, Ann, you have my attention. $3.4 $3 million. I paid that six months ago. How do we get it back? Can we get it back? She goes, yeah, the good news is we can get it back. I said, great. She goes, the better news is that in the state of New York, I can go back three years and get three years. I'm like, okay, I can't do that much math right now, but that's about 10 million bucks. She goes, and they owe us interest. Legal taxation. She's you're from Boston, right? Didn't a bunch of guys throw some tea in the water up there a while ago? <laughs> <laughs> kind of based on that, right? Uh, okay, so Ann and I spent the next two days coming down invoices for the last three years on every single thing associated with this stack, right? Stack came to $27.5 million that the state of New York owed me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, did the CIO like me when I said that? Because the CIO it had already come out of his budget. He'd already paid all that money out. It was a free $27 million. I walked in the door to the CIO, I go, hey, how much was that this over IP conversion thing that we were talking about last week that you were going to fire people for? 4.5 million. I go, got it. Own it. What else you got? Well, we were thinking about refreshing some of the laptops in the United States. I got to buy 10,000 laptops. I go, huh? What are we talking about? It was, I don't know, like 13 million. Got, got that too. What else you need? Just keep it coming. It was like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Guy yeah, loved me. So, very, very important that you understand the difference between sales and use tax. Most of your indirect people have been getting hammered for years to find savings. They don't know anything about tax, right? Come on. If you know this, Raise your hand. 